All right, so this is the Marshall MG100 HCFX uh, guitar half stack. Um, first, let's take a look at the cabinet. So the cabinet, it, I got the slanted one, you can get the straight one. Uh, comes with four 12-inch uh, Celestian speakers. It has an input in the back, just a basic cabinet. It has two carrying handles on the sides so that you carry. All right, this is the head of the amp. Uh, the head is 120 watts, and it has an input, a gain knob, a bass, middle treble, a reverb, a volume, effects, delay, and a master. Uh, it's four different channels, clean, crunch, OD1 and OD2. Um, you can set the pace of the effects. Uh, there's a, in the back there's an effects loop for other pedals you have, and you can enable that on or off. There's a tuner, uh, a headphone jack, power button right here. Damping, which basically makes it sound more like a classic tube amp. And you can also store your presets with this amp, which comes with a foot switch, which I'll show you right here. All right, so this is the foot switch that comes with the amp. It's really simple. Just click it, switches between the multiple. Uh, channels, the clean crunch, and overdrives. Alright, so this is going to be a little playing through the clean channel on this amp. Uh, so here we go. So this is going to be the crunch setting on the amp. I use it for a classic rock type stuff. Uh, here's a little example of it. Also uses for blues. It's good for well. All right. So OD1 and OD2 are really similar. And if I want overdrive, I'm just gonna go with the OD2 because that's a little bit more. So this is what I use for my metal and my really, really hard rock type stuff. So here's an example of that.
right, so that was a basic overview of the amp. I personally really like it for the new Marshall. This is, keep in mind, MG, so it's a solid state amp. Uh, I think it sounds really good for the price, and if you are a, a musician playing in a band, this amp is perfect because it definitely will cranked up, go past drums and all that stuff. Um, right now my master volume is at not even 1 out of 10, so you can imagine this cranked up, it's really loud. So. And the good plus with this amp is I find if you crank it up, unless obviously you're going like 10 or past like 6, your tone doesn't go away, so it can get really loud. <laughs> and not have it go away. So that's it. Have any questions, comments, comment below.